All right, so here's my gold. Now it's time to collect. So we're gonna start with a little bit of this and we're just gonna pour it in. I got rid of the base metal already. So now I just need to dissolve the gold. Not much left in here, but let's give it a try. All right, let's see. That's how you know it's good. You see it bubble. Make sure that you cover it up. And let it see. It's actually the chlorine gas that dissolves the gold. All right, you can see a little bit of gas in there. Let's see. Oh, not much. I can smell it though. The good thing about the acid and bleach method is it creates its own heat. So you don't have to heat it. It just reacts on its own and it will work without heat. Look at that, it's still foamed up, but you can see it's got plenty of gas in there. Be careful adding too much bleach at a time because it might overblow. That green means there's still some base metal in there, but I think there's a good amount of gold in there, so we'll see when we test. All right, it's all done. I filtered my solution. Here it is. Here is some pieces. You can see there's no more gold there here and there's no more metal in there actually it looks like there's some floating in there but we'll deal with that in a second let's test this and see if there's gold in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this down and i'm going to use some of the solution i'm just going to put this in there i'm going to take a little bit of the solution and put it right here this little drop Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of my testing solution right here. This is 10 chloride, and if there's gold in the solution, then it will turn black. And I do not see any color change, so there may not be any gold in there. This actually might be my gold. So I've noticed that if there's too much base metal in the solution, it won't dissolve the gold because it dissolves copper first. So you can see there's still gold here, gold flakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this again and get, and try to dissolve the gold. And you can see a little purple right there, which means there is some gold in it. All right, let's try this again. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna pull this stuff out. You see, all of this is pretty clean. So it stripped the gold, it's just, there's lots of little flakes in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump it all into here. And I'm gonna get rid of all the big stuff. So I see a little bit of gold in here, but I think there just wasn't much gold in the beginning. So it's just not gonna be a lot in the end. All right, so there's a small amount of gold on this stuff, but too little to go after. I'm gonna throw all this stuff away and I'm gonna process this liquid instead, okay? I think the black powder that's in here is actually my gold. It has plated out on the copper and the base metal that's still in there. So we're gonna process this powder instead of this stuff. All right, we're just gonna toss this in the bin. Let's see, there might be some gold flakes here at the bottom. Yeah, there's some gold flakes at the bottom. You can see it didn't dissolve the gold, it just released it. Yeah, there's just, there's a lot of gold flakes in there. So we're gonna process this stuff again. So in this case, I'm just gonna pour it all in here and there's already some gold sediment in the bottom and I'm just gonna process all of it. I'm thinking all this black stuff is gold and I guess I'll process that tomorrow. <clears throat> all right, I drained all of my waste solution here is the black mud most of this is precious metals some of it's copper and now i'm going to filter it all right let's try this again here is the gold mud you can see a little piece of gold in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to boil this in hydrochloric acid and get rid of any base metal and then when i dissolve the gold it will stay dissolved all right so we're just going to Drop it in the beaker. We're going to pour some acid in. I'm going to let this cook for a little while. Just gonna cook it on low. All right, I always cover it up. 
All right, I boiled this in hydrochloric acid. All that's left should be precious metals. Let's see how much gold's in. Here's another look. You can see some gold in the bottom. All right, I got a bucket with a lid, and I'm gonna take my gold mud, and I'm just gonna dump it in there. Oh, there we go, okay. And here is my old solution. The old solution is gonna go into my stock pot. And it's good. All right, here's my gold mud. You can see a little bit of gold down there. All right, we need two things, hydrochloric acid and bleach. So now I'm gonna fill this up just enough to cover the gold. And that's probably even too much. Now we need just a little bit of bleach and that's how you know it's good. So now you cover it up, make sure it's secure. All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna get some on here. All right, I got my my solution, let's test it. Oh yeah, we got, look at that. We got some precious metal. All right, it's time to release the gold. Here's my solution. I think there's a lot of tin in it. All right, let's pour in this exact amount. All right, you see the color change? It's lightening up. Let's start a little bit. It'll turn brown when it's gonna drop the gold. All right, it started to drop. Let's see if there's any gold at the bottom. Uh, maybe. I won't know until I let it sit for a little while longer so i'll keep you up to date all right it's time to filter this um you can't see the gold because it's a dirty solution but once i filter it you'll see it here's some of the liquid i'm just gonna pour this in my stock pot you can see the gold down in there a little bit of it is going in the filter but most of it's down there here's another look at it here's another look at it and put it in the filter and refine it all right, and here's my gold. Here it is again. Not a, a ton of gold. So I'm just gonna refine it with the rest of my gold. 